Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I originally was going to cover Savannah and Jake today, but then there are some updates on Asante that I wanted to share with you guys. So when it first came out that Asante had passed away in a fatal car crash on Friday, there was reports from a radio station and a few other news sources saying that he was fleeing from police. So the Georgia State Patrol Post 7 has spoken out and did a full investigation and shed more light on what exactly happened. So according to the preliminary crash report, they say that Asante was driving north on Georgia 106 at a high rate of speed. And while he was going on a curb and he was curving to the left, he lost control of his vehicle. So his charger crossed into the southbound traffic lane and collided with a Ford Super Duty pickup and it was driven by this Brian kid and he had three other passengers in the car and after impact the pickup ended up flipping multiple times and it flipped onto its roof, it slid and struck a traffic sign before stopping upright on the right shoulder of the highway. So those are pictures of the truck. We don't have pictures of Asante's charger, but his charger came to a stop on the right shoulder of the road. So the driver of the truck was a 21-year-old boy, and he had three passengers in his car. He had an 18-year-old, a 24-year-old, and a 15-year-old boy in the car with him, and they all went to the hospital where they had minor injuries. And so they ended up investigating this, though, and they say that local news outlets quoted family sources saying that Asante was fleeing from the police. So, according to the Georgia State Patrol Post 7 Commander Donnie Sadler, he talked to now Habersham, and he said that Asante was speeding, he was passing on a double yellow line, so a cop ended up driving past him, and when he noticed that, he decided to turn around, but they said that Asante was never fleeing. Once the cop turned around, shortly after that, I guess that's when the big wreck happened, but the cop had not turned his lights on yet, but he had turned around, so he wasn't actively pursuing him, but he was, you know, about to be pursuing him. So it sounds like like Asante probably knew like oh that cop just turned around I was speeding let me try to get out of here real quick and the next thing you know there's that big fatal crash that happened so Asante was already driving reckless before he was on the patrol officer's radar so when he they did show up to the scene they tried to do everything they could but unfortunately he passed away at the scene so now let's talk about Renika and Asante in this last episode and like I said it's going to be hard covering him this season because everything I've heard from all the spoilers their storyline for Love After Lockup is going to be crazy because we know he has a girlfriend who's five months pregnant and he got out in February so he's only been out for about seven months so we're most likely going to see this drama go down in this season at least I hope we do and he was arrested as I previously reported in June and that's a picture of his mugshot and he was arrested for possession of marijuana with intent crossing guard lines possession of cocaine possession of cocaine with intent and move over so move over is usually when you don't pull over for emergency vehicle and the cross guard lines is typically when you're caught with either drugs or trying to make weapons in jail or trying to get them smuggled in so now let's talk about them in the last episode so Renika after Asante pretty much ghosts her like Casper she's freaking out but she's like you know what I'm just gonna get all dolled up and I'm gonna show up to the county jail and see what happens so she pulls up at the jail and at first I thought for sure this girl was wasting her time and then look Next thing you know, she's sitting there and Asante pulls up in this truck. But I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I have to point it out. I feel like this scene was so scripted because, first of all, where is this man's handcuffs? You're just going to let this man ride around in this truck. You don't see no, like, fence, you know, between the back seat and the front seat like most patrol vehicles have. You don't see him with no handcuffs. But he has his arms looking, trying to make it look like he has handcuffs on. So someone looks real fast they might think he does and I'm sorry I've been to jail plenty of times in the past in my troublemaking days and I've never I've been transferred to county jails multiple times and I never was transferred without handcuffs and then they just let him go in the office and sit by the sec the receptionist and literally sit back there with her without no handcuffs 
They had the other dude that was sitting back there with them, and he was handcuffed, but Asante wasn't handcuffed. It was just super weird, and the fact that he's sitting so close to the receptionist and didn't look like there's really anybody else around with no handcuffs, letting them use the personal phone that looks like the, you know, office phone. I never went to jail or got transferred from a jail and got to sit in the back and hang out with the employees and use their phone never and then get out of the car and get transferred like you know how dangerous that is because if he's still getting transferred to the county he's still in their custody so they should be having him handcuffed and I, that's why it just makes me hard to believe this scene I had to point that out I'm sorry but Renika was so excited she's over the moon she's jumping up and down and this is how I can tell that this boy is not feeling hurt because he did not even look her way once when he got out of that truck you know he didn't say no hey baby he didn't look excited like this is the most he did didn't even look her way at all so he goes inside he sits down without his handcuffs he starts using the phone and he calls up Renika and he lets her know hey baby I'm here and he says look the person who's supposed to bond me out pretty much ghosted me and they're not answering my phone calls now so I still gotta figure out how I'm gonna get out of here and Renika was like, okay, baby, do you got it figured out or do you got to figure it out? So he kind of assured her that he had it figured out. And he explained that the reason that he hadn't called Renika or why his phone was disconnected when she was calling is he had a phone in prison when he wasn't supposed to. So when he got transferred from county, you know, they search you and he didn't want to get caught with it and them just take it. So he ended up giving it away to someone else. So Renika was like, all right, baby, you figure that out. So he gets off the phone and he's telling producers you know we're almost at the finish line we're almost there and she's my girl I'm her man so she should be taking care of me so he seemed really annoyed at the fact that she wasn't paying his bond and he had to figure something out but it sounded like he already had it figured out because next thing he picks up the phone and he calls one of his buddies and he's explaining yeah man so this girl and they beeped out her name so we didn't get to hear it but the girl that he has pregnant her name's Alexis so I'm curious if this is the same girl but he's like yo this girl has my bond money and Renika is the one that's gonna post the bail probably co-sign the bond and he's like, but I don't want them finding out about each other. So I need you to help me and get the money and bring it up here. And so we already are learning from the jump the first time we're actually officially meeting him that he's already got girls on the side. Or Renique is probably the girl on the side. There were also rumors and comments that he had just did a robbery before the fatal car crash and his family saw some of the comments and responded and they said from their side that he did not do no robbery and they say that's all cap. But that's it for this video guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video and that's me. <laughs> Check out according to amber.com. I'll leave all that info in the description and you can use my code labor lash sale and you can get 25% off select lashes and today is the last day for that sale. So check that out if you're interested. I also sell other lash products. But yes, let me know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.